Welcome. Today we're gonna see another tutorial about JavaScript. It is JavaScript object. A car is an object. A car has an, a name, a model, a weight. These are properties. So our car is an object and it has properties. Also it has a start function, break and stop. These are methods. So an object in general has properties and methods. In JavaScript, a string, a boolean, false or true, a number are always or can be objects. An array, date, irregular expressions, math, functions and objects are always objects. Actually in JavaScript objects are king. So by understanding objects you understand JavaScript. In JavaScript to create a variable we say var person equal some value. So a variable in JavaScript can contain single values. For an object we say var person equals we open the brackets and we add some values inside. So this is an object. So an object is also a variable. It contains many variables that has values. So an object is a variable that contains many values. And written as name and value pairs separated by a colon. So we say var our object equal open the brackets then a name a colon a value a comma a name colon a value and a comma the last one we say a name a colon and a value without a comma then we close the brackets and we add a semicolon at the end but the name here cannot only have a value it can have a function Let's say for person, so the first name has a value, the last name has a value, the color has a value, but the age here has a function code. So the first name and last name and eye color, we call them property. These are properties. And the age here is a method. Remember, an object has properties and methods. Age here is a method. Now I really have to do this, we have to talk about this keyword because we're gonna use this in the future. Here the this is inside our object, this is inside our function and this at the outside. This this says who owns this code, the object replays me my love so here this is just our object this equals the object at the bottom this says how is this code the function replies it is the object that will own me So this is owned by the object that will own the function. For example, we say var my ob, we create an object using the function object constructor. So this here is my object. The last this here, the code is owned by the object window. So this, in this time, is the object window. So, in general, the this keyword is the object that own the code. This is inside the code that's owned by window, so this is the window. This is inside the code that owned by object, so this is this object. And this here will be owned by the object that will own this function. Now to create an object there is three different ways. 
The first one is the one we saw before, it is the object literal. And the second is using the keyword new. And the last is the using the object constructor. For, our, for the object literal, we just say var person equal. So we say var person equal, we open the brackets and we add a pair of name and values or name and functions. Using the keyword new, we can say var person equal new object. So we define this person variable as an object. Then we can add the values saying this person dot first name equals John. And we'll get something like this. So the first name and the last name and age and eye color are properties. And we add these values to these properties. But guys don't use the keyword new and use the object literal because the object literal executes faster. Now let's go to the object constructor. But before going to see what is an object constructor, seeing you want to create objects with the same type. For example, my father here has first name, last name, and age and eye color properties. So my mother does. And then you want to add some other objects that has the same properties. So doing this using the object literal will take you a lot of time. So here comes the object constructor. So the object constructor will help us to create objects from the same type. So first an object constructor is a function. So we will say function so we say function person. Here is the object constructor. It is a function. Our object constructor will get these parameters first, last, age, and i. So here is our parameters and so our properties. Then we use the keyword this that first name equals first. Remember, this keyword here is the object that will own the function. Then this that last name equals last, this the age equals age, and this the eye color equals eye. To create now objects using this object constructor, we will say var my father equals new person, and then we put our values. Saying saying John do fifty blue. So we say new, there is our object constructor. John is the first parameter, do last age, 48 is age, and green is the eye color. And this, in this example, is my father. So it's like saying my father that first name equals John. Then my father that last name equals last do and so on. And now let's go and see a live example on how to create or delete or access the properties and methods of an object. So let's first create a new file called index.html. I'm gonna create the very basic HTML file. We give it a title. And then I'll add my script tag. And then I will uh, add a line to show the result. I'm giving it an ID test. I will select the element using document that get element by id at test I will say test dot html equals I will 
say a variable result. So here is the variable result. I'm gonna initiate that by some text. So this code over here will show the result variable in our web browser. And in this area, I'm going to run this in my web browser. So as you can see here in my web browser, some text is being shown. Now I'm going to create a new variable, an object using the name and value pairs and separated by a column. Now first name and last name and age are properties of our object person. The last one, the last pair, we don't add the comma. Now I'm going to try to access the properties of our object person. So to access that we will say object name dot and the property simple. So that's how you access a property of an object. So in this case person is our object and the property could be first name, last name, age or merit. So I'm going to try now to access one of those. So here I'm going to say person dot first name for example. So I'm accessing the first name. If I refresh, I get John. I will try to access another property, married. I will say true. Now to add another property to our object, we could say person dot eye color. Eye color is the new property equals to blue. So we are adding a new property to our person or to our object. The person is getting a new property called eye color and its value is blue. I'm going to now access the eye color property. Now if I want to delete a property, I will say delete person dot eye color. So simple. Now it shows undefined because I deleted the eye color property. Now we can also add a method to our object. So let's add a method called full name and then a function. So this function will print the full name, the first name plus the last name. So I'm going to say Now I will say return, so this function or this method will return the first name. So we use this, that first name. This is the person object. Because this is inside a JavaScript code that's owned by person object. And I'm going to add the space, then the last name. So I'm going to say this, that last name, like saying person, that last name. Now if I access the method you could say full name oh now it's just show the function it's showing the value of our property so to actually use the method we have to add parentheses now it's showing John do we can also add the property by saying person dot the property name then not a colon but equals now I refresh and I get the result the same result we can also delete the, the method saying delete person dot full name and it's then deleted 
Now let's create an object constructor function. So we'll say function person. Person here is our object constructor. With it, we're gonna create objects. So this dot first name equals x. X is the first parameter. Then I'm gonna copy the lines and say this dot last dot last name equals y, and then the age property equals z. Now, as we have seen before, this is not owned by the constructor it is owned by the object that will own the function so we're going to create a new object called me by using the constructor person equals new person we just created an object me that has no values so we're going to add the values so the parameter x will have or will get john and then the y will get do and then the last name or the age will get the z which means 22 so let's say uh, we're gonna access uh, the the property so me dot last name if I hit refresh so it shows do now we just created me object using the constructor person I'm gonna add a new one called her, a new object, and I changed just the first name. So if I say hey first, now I just created again another object her that has the same properties. This first name, uh, the first name, the last name, and age properties, and I can create a bunch of objects using that. So the so the object constructor function here helps us to create as many as objects we want while they are the same type now thank you guys for watching this video i hope this was useful don't forget to subscribe and like us on facebook and like my video and share it with your friends Guys, I'm asking a lot. Thank you guys for watching. See you in another video.